pretty close to ideal start for y'all. I mean, what were you feel, feeling to start the match? Uh, I'd say before the match, we just talked a lot about, uh, you know, taking the environment of being here at Bob, just like we do it before every home game, and how we knew since it was a top 15 match. Sorry, I'm not used to this microphone being so loud. <laughs> uh, as we knew it was going to be a top 15 match, so we had to have a lot of energy coming in. They were going to come in here wanting to, you know, beat us, just like every team does. So we did a really good job of just using our energy and playing how we play uh, to start off that match and really get them stuck down in a hole very early on. Lexi, with you, with you guys' play or your mentality, what changed the most from last night to tonight? I think going into, into tonight, we had a really – good mentality that we were going to attack it all night long. We knew that they were going to come in. Um, they're a top 15 team. Um, they always give us a good game when we play. And I think after being on the road and our last few matches, they haven't really been the smoothest. So tonight, I think everyone was on the same page that we're going to come in, we're going to attack it with every aspect of our game and just really show them um, kind of what Nebraska volleyball is. Lindsay fell behind 8-1 in the second set there. How were you able to kind of right the ship and get back into it? Yeah, I think uh, we really talked about in that huddle and throughout those few timeouts that we don't need to go on one long eight-point run. We need to go on two-point runs, three-point runs. Every single time a server goes back, we need to string a few points together and chip away one by one and don't let them go on any more runs after that. And I, I think that was something that we did. As soon as it hit about, like, 10-4. I think after that, we didn't let them go on another run after that, and that's when we started stringing together our points. So that was big for us, and just making sure everybody did their job well, and that's how we were going to do that. I think Nebraska missed four of its first five serves until you went back and got a couple aces. How big was it to get those aces to kind of turn that tide? Yeah, I think it was, I think it was big for all of us because we knew that we were struggling a little bit early on, and we were, I think, putting a lot of pressure on ourselves, not to just put a ball in, but to make it really aggressive because that's what we're always striving for. So I think I went back there personally, and I almost had the mentality, I'm just going to get this into the zone coach told me to do, and we're going to play defense. And I put good serves in, and they aces. So I think it was really big for not just our team, but for the crowd too. I think you could tell how demoralized they were by like every single one of those missed serves. It was the, oh. So I think it was really good to get the crowd back in the game too. Lindsay Lex, you had 12 digs in the first set. Can you kind of put into context I, what kind of effort that is? And what that's insane. I remember I actually turned to Caroline at one point right at the end of the second, or at the end of the first set, and I was like, bro, Lexi has 10 digs right now. And the first <laughs> set's not even over. You know, I think it just shows um, why there's so many teams who have game plans that basically just say, we're not going to have any sort of game plan except don't hit to zone five. You know, that's pretty much people say, oh, Lexi didn't have very many digs tonight. Well, that's because nobody hit at her because they're trying to avoid her so much. So Lexi's awesome. <laughs> so sweet. Were they going at you or you just, were you taking a larger space out there early on? Um, I mean... They were hitting it at me. I don't know if that was their game plan. If it was, that's fine. But I was doing what I always do, and the block was setting up really good, so I was making my job a lot easier. What's it like to play a team that is so, I mean, Marusic had half of their swings tonight. What's it like to defend a team that's so dependent on one hitter? Um, I think I want to say it's easier because she's a great player and she has a lot of range, but I think just knowing the key players we have to focus on and when we know that there, she's going to get a lot of swings, the block is usually in a really good spot and then our defenders are usually in a really good spot. So I'm not saying it makes it easier, but I definitely think it helps us kind of defensively get in a better groove. Mm. What, what's the team mood after you have that slow start to the second set and come, be able to come back and kind of right the ship? What's the mood after that second set? Yeah, I mean, going into the third, I think we always have a mentality like we like the game's not over. Like we may be up 2-0, but we still have to attack and take it from them. And I think after the start of our second set, just knowing that we were able to come back and then still pull that out, I think going into the third, we were like, okay, now it's time to like really put it to them. Like we're not going to let them get above like 15 points, like kind of that mentality instead of starting out slower. I think we really went in there and attacked in the first like 10 points of the third set. Lindsay, how did it feel to get back out there and get to play in front of the fans for the first time in a while for you? 
Uh, it was really special. I think it, I was also kind of nervous this weekend just because uh, getting to play here was something that I've, really, you know, it's great to be a part of the Nebraska volleyball team. It's part of the reason why people come here is to play in front of this atmosphere. So I think it was probably a good thing that I got to get back into games almost in front of away crowds just because um, no added pressure on myself that I put on myself here. So getting to come back in and play in Bob was really special. And, you know, having the teammates, staff, and everybody to support everyone through it was, you know, really great. Yeah, Lindsay, for you personally, after last night, and for you to, how did you reset to kind of, that allowed you to have a performance like tonight? Yeah, I think after last night, I kind of just went home and reflected. You know, I had uh, a great couple first two sets, and then I had a bad 10 minutes, you know, just kind of something like that, putting it into perspective, where I had a few errors in a row, but that doesn't negate everything else that I know how to do, and you just got to come back the next night and know and still have a lot of belief in your abilities. Other questions? Lexi, does this, does this feel like the best win or Stanford or a different match? Um, I mean, we always say, like, any win in the Big Ten, especially getting later into the season, is really good. And so I think I think this win was pretty special for us just because, I mean, there's always a rival, rivalry with Penn State and then just being on the road and then our past five matches haven't really – been how we know how to play, so I think this win kind of was a good step in the right direction for how we want to play in the next coming weeks.